to season two of the duck pyramid where I rate my nine pet ducks based on their behaviors the last week. At the bottom of our pyramid this week, we have Sugar. Now Sugar, as per usual, is always up to something not good because she hates anything and everything. But this particular week when we were all having a nice peaceful morning and all the ducks were swimming in their little stream, Sugar decided to wreak havoc. And I got it on tape, so let's roll the clips. <laughs> why Sugar landed herself at the bottom of her pyramid this week, but that's not all. She also was the first duck out when it snowed, and she decided that she was going to scream and yell as loud as she could as soon as she discovered that their pond had been drained. Obviously, this scared the other ducks because they were like, why is Sugar screaming so much? And then they were even more afraid to go out in the snow. But after she had been screaming for a few minutes, they finally decided to walk out and see what was going on and maybe protect her. And she, she still didn't stop, like, yelling. So... You're just the worst human ever. I hate the duck pyramid. And next up on our duck pyramid is Donut. Now we all know Donut loves to make my life as difficult as possible by doing silly little things like pooping in the water bowl and other small things. But this past week, Donut took it to a whole new level and decided to make her mother's life as hard as possible. For those of you that don't know, Donut's mom is my other duck, Munchkin. And Munchkin was getting married this week. And Donut wanted to crash the wedding. She actually walked all over their wedding cake. Now, luckily, we already had taken pictures of the wedding cake, but worst child of the year award goes to Donut. Well, maybe if my mom wasn't so mean to me when I was a duckling, I would have acted better. And up next, we have our honorary duck, Chip. Chip, the reason you are down here this week is because you love to pee on your hamster wheel. And I know that a lot of other hamsters do that too, but it's literally so annoying and you could pee like anywhere else. So maybe try that, okay? This competition is so rigged. The ducks always win. And lastly for this row, we have the beautiful Raven. Now, Raven didn't do anything too bad this week, but when I was putting the ducks to bed, she decided she was not gonna go to bed and decided to fly across the yard, which of course, it's whatever, but like it's dark outside because the sun sets at like four or something now. Um, and finding a black duck in the dark is not very fun. So I unfortunately had to put her down here. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to let this crazy roll off my back just like this water. And leveling up, we have Avocado Toast. Avocado Toast was supposed to be one of the flower girls in Munchkin's wedding, but unfortunately she decided that she did not want to participate, so I don't think I have a single good picture of her in the flower girl costume. All I'm saying is if there were snacks before the ceremony, I might have been more inclined to participate. Up next, we have Bubbles. Honestly, Bubbles was like the best bridesmaid. She should have been the maid of honor, although unfortunately that was given to Donut because she was the daughter of the bride. But really, it should have been Bubbles because she was just there for Munchkin. Everything that needed to be done, she was willing to do it. She needed to take pictures. She just stood there with the other ducks. She needed to not be in the pictures. She just stood there with the other ducks. She was not causing commotion. She was just being her own girl, doing her own thing. It was perfect. Thank you, Bubbles. Aw, oh, thanks. I tried really hard to be there for Munchkin. And up next, we have Hash Brown Montana. Hash Brown was also supposed to be one of the flower girls in this wedding. We were going to have two because they were both the two youngest ducks that they have. But unfortunately, her sister obviously did not want to participate. But you know who stepped up to the plate? Hash Brown Montana. And she did an absolutely quacktastic job. So thank you so much for doing the job when your sister wouldn't. Being a flower girl was the most fun I have ever had in my entire life. Please let me do it again. And moving up on our pyramid, we have Mr. Whip. I am so proud of Mr. Whip. He did so many jobs at this wedding, it's not even funny. He is our only male duck besides the groom, so he was the best man. He was also the only groomsman. He was the officiant, and he was also the ring bearer, and he took all of those titles and did them perfectly. He had different outfits. He just sat there and was like, please take my picture. I look so cute in a tuxedo. He held the rings. I mean, he just did a perfect job. He had so many shoes to fill and he filled them all excellently. Thank you, Mr. Whip, for being awesome. What can I say? I wear many hats. 
And up next, we have Maple. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I was thinking that I was gonna have both the bride and the groom on the top of our pyramid this week, and it just might not be a total pyramid shape. Because, you know, they got married, so they deserve that that top of the pyramid. Uh, yeah, this guy, he, <laughs> he doesn't deserve that title, uh, unfortunately. So, okay, good things. He got married. He had his green head feathers finally grow in. They looked perfect. He was so handsome. Um, bad things, he wouldn't wear a like tuxedo or a suit um, at all. So he's naked in his wedding photos. <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that other than I wasn't gonna force him to do it and he didn't want to, so he didn't. Um, and then following the wedding, I was putting the ducks to bed and Maple totally overshot the coop when he was trying to fly into it. Um, and him and Munchkin got into their very first fight as a married couple. Obviously, Munchkin is very concerned because her husband is missing because he flew behind the coop. Um, and he's supposed to be going to bed. So she walks out of the coop and starts screaming at him. And instead of him just like waddling back into the coop, like would be easy. He decides I'm going to actually fly across the yard first. Munchkin sees him. She starts yelling at him even louder. She's like, get your duck butt over here right now. Like, yikes. That's all I have to say. Even though having to wear a wedding band is so annoying, I would do it all over again to marry Munchkin. And as I'm sure you all have guessed by now, at the top of our pyramid this week, we have the most beautiful bride, Munchkin. Munchkin's day went off without a hitch for her. As you might know, she loves to dress up, so her being in a white wedding dress was something she just had a lot of fun with. She loved having those flowers on her because she could eat them while we were taking pictures. She posed perfectly for every single little thing that I needed her to. She was just happy to be there, happy to be getting attention. Um, she took pictures at home, she took pictures at the venue, which was their coop. But she was just so happy to be getting, you know, all this attention and that everything was about her. And she did a really fantastic job and not even about the wedding, but she also did other things this week, like filming so many videos and cameos. And I took her to Starbucks on Red Cup Day and she just totally made the barista's day. They were all so excited to see her in the drive-thru. And honestly, I just could not ask for a better duck or a more beautiful duck bride. So thank you Munchkin for always being there for me and being such just a graceful duck. I had the most beautiful wedding day ever and I can't wait to get the photos back from the photographer. Before you go though, I have two really quick announcements. Number one is that we have 2023 Dunkin' Ducks calendars now available. They have lots of cute pictures of some of our ducks and they're perfect for starting a new year. You can get this calendar on the Lulu bookstore, just search for Dunkin' Ducks. And then I also have new merch just in time for winter. Sugar actually has her very first merch design. I'm gonna put it up here. And then we also have a design with Munchkin and Maple, which is here. And you can find those on my bonfire shop. And if you enjoyed the first episode of season two with all new photos of our duck pyramid, be sure to join us here next week to see who levels up and who levels down.